activity tokens and I'm just gonna do that right now and craft it okay so there's the suit and it looks very you notice the black is very glossy right well even the red so I don't know I mean I don't know what to say but I don't know what material it is because usually generally speaking when you have that glossy type of uh armoring it's an armor i mean that's what it essentially is right usually uh it's a sort of armor and being a hoodie and all is not really an armor and i noticed that one of the things that's very unique about the miles morales suits is that most of them are hoodies i mean i don't know why but uh there's no there's very little armor if any right i mean like literally the the armoring I guess like a full-fledged armor where it's covering the entire body. Anywho, let, let's run around with this suit and take a look at it. And of course, I guess we should actually do some quests since I'm relatively behind in what I'm doing. Unlocking suit. Let's just go up this thing. It's really hard to actually see with the sun as it is, right? But I'm trying to get a good view here. Not that... I don't know, I mean, let me try to find a good building. It looks like these buildings are really bad. Okay, so, I guess, uh, uh of a if I hang out this way. No, actually, that's a horrible building to do whatever I'm doing. So let's do it this way, then. Man, that is so dark. Okay, I mean, there must be a better building around here. Okay, let's try this thing then. Well, I need to get close to an, an object or, or another building. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, I mean, it's very surprising how they made the suits like this because I'm thinking when you're swinging right the 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 hood should come off that that's just generic uh, knowledge right because the wind's gonna catch into the hood and then it's gonna blow it off I don't know what's happening here so let's go into the map and let's see if we we, we could do some stuff hey we're right next to a combat challenge 3.0 I guess we might as well just do that as well. I don't know, I mean... We're so close. And we need to look at the suit a bit. Maybe there would be a, like some battle. No, I don't got this. Can't stand the heat. Get out the airborne kitchen. Guys up while you're airborne. What the heck? And the crowd goes wild. Come on, where are you, man? Okay, that was horrible. I think I could redo that. 
Now that you know the secrets of air combat, or do I need to redo that? Get those bad dudes off. Well, yeah, it doesn't say we need to redo that. But anyways, I mean, I should have launched it with the Venom thing. And then after that, uh, you know, I could punch them all if I round them up. Anyways, so, you know, we got the Crimson Cow here. Reminds me of Batman's Cow. But, you know, I am, I don't know, like I was saying, I always think that whenever you're... Folks. Whenever you're uh, you're swinging, right? The air is gonna catch in the the hood, and then the hood is gonna fall off. But it doesn't look like that's happening. And as far as I can see, there's no armor. But anywho, we got this crimson cow armor here. I mean, not armor, suit. And there it is. Thanks. Uh, anyone who wants to donate to the cleanup, check out our website. It's tax deductible. Wonder. I'm donating 10% of my paycheck for this week, and half of Jerry's. Now, I'm hearing Spider-Man may have been responsible for the flood. No way. Someone was responsible, but it wasn't Spider-Man. It reminds me of the, the ends of the Earth suit. It's just that they changed it a bit. Like, really, it does, right? Like, they, they literally just changed a bit of it. Spider-Man can't afford Lloyd. Because it, it, if you put on the helmet of the ends of the earth, you, you pretty much... The coloring, the red and the black, it's very... It's very similar. 